guys welcome back to my channel how's everyone doing <laughs> i have um a lot of stuff sitting here on my table uh from salvation Ar or not salvation army no 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 from goodwill senior tuesday um got quite a quite a bit uh nothing like really spectacular um, but some cool stuff nonetheless. I was, I, I, I paused there for a second because I just realized that I forgot in my last video, my Salvation Army video that I recorded right before this one, I forgot to show the find of the century in that video. So I'm going to have to go back and insert a picture. That's what I'll do. Yes, I'm just letting you guys know that I screwed up again. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Holy cow. <laughs> oh, dear. Anywho, I, uh, I have a haul for you, as I said, from uh, Goodwill. And I spent... $79. So let me show you what I got for $79. All right. You may recall in my last, uh, well, I don't know, my last video or maybe the one before that. I don't know. Um, I purchased uh, a high C glass, high C glass. It was a mayonnaise set. It was the bowl, the ladle, and the underplate. When I found the set, which was in different spots, the bowl had a lid on it that didn't belong. And I, you might remember me saying in the video that I went back and found the item that the lid belonged to. Well, this is that item. It was this beautiful uh, little candy dish, candy jar, and they had this lid taped on to the Heisey mayonnaise bowl. <laughs> and this had some other kind of a lid on it that didn't match. So when I went back today, I remember my grandmother having this exact item, but hers was aqua. And it was iridescent, and it was gorgeous. And it reminded me of Graham, so I had to get it. I really like it. I just think it's so pretty. And it's clear glass. Yes, it is. So, there is that item. I found some Christmas, like I usually do. Got this adorable, um, I think I got one of these before, actually. Snowman cup with the lid to keep your hot chocolate coffee or tea or your hot toddy or your coffee royal whatever you choose to put in here uh the lid will keep it warm and i just thought it was adorable and i love it we're doing all we're doing all the holidays today then i found this awesome halloween cup Oh my goodness, isn't that adorable? I love it. It says, Happy Halloween on the inside. And it is made by Cobwebs and Cauldrons. So I had to grab that. I love this cup. And that's a, it's a honky cup. So that'll hold a great deal of coffee. I also found this vintage little um tea light holder uh there's it even has the brand new tea light still in it it's made in japan and i i just thought it was so pretty so dainty this would look beautiful in a bathroom um on your nightstand in your bedroom uh wherever i it's just really pretty love the the, the pale colors on the flowers 
pastel colors, not pale, pastel. Um, let me see, I got some really cool glasses and I need to check on these because I don't know if these are Dorothy Thorpe glasses or not. But they are monogrammed with the letter N and I got four of them and they're all in really fantastic condition. They're beautiful. So I got to check on these. Haven't had a chance yet. But I, I grabbed them because I thought they were beautiful glasses. So. Now these, I feel like they might be anchor hocking. But I'm not sure. I did not, I did not look them up yet. But I love these glasses. Um, they are not marked. But I know anchor hocking, um, they make the... Uh, Lido Sereno and the Lido um, Moreno or whatever the heck it is. I can't remember now. Um, and I'm thinking these might be anchor hocking as well because of the textured design on here. But I thought these were awesome. These would be really nice in the summertime uh, for lemonade, iced tea, um, you know, whatever. They're just gorgeous. And I got five of these. Now, originally when I bought these, I thought these were candle holders, but then I'm like, well, no, because the holes are too big for taper candles, right? Unless you set two tea light candles on top. But aren't these beautiful? Look how pretty these are. So I'm thinking it's a vase of some sort. But if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments because I really have no idea. I, I really did think that they were candle holders, but I don't know, they might be. There's a hole in the bottom. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just know they're pretty. Excuse me while I have a sip of my, um, my, uh, sugar-free flavored sparkling water in lemonade. Yum. Okay. Uh, these are awesome, and I wanted to open the box so that I could try it out, and it's taped together. Let me just grab my um, my little, y'all know I have a box cutter, right? <laughs> you saw me wailing it around in one of my not-so-nice videos. Let me go get it. <laughs> All right, well, much to my chagrin... I do not have a battery to fit this. It takes one of those like uh, a quarter of the size uh, AA batteries. You know what I mean? So I can't try it out for you guys, but look at this. It's beautiful and it lights up. And I got a pair, a smaller one and a tall one. So... But I don't have a battery to show you guys. So I opened up the dang box for nothing. Oh well. That's the way it goes. Uh, these are from Pier 1, actually. And, well, they ripped off the price tag because I was wondering what they charged for these originally. But I don't know. But they're glass LED trees. So, I like those. Now I'm going to have to go get a battery because I want to check them out. Got to check them out. All right, let me move this over here. <clears throat> I got this. Um, I believe it is, it's a pedestal, pedestal plate holder. 
but I use this to put picture frames in also. I actually have one in my living room now with my daughter's engagement picture in it. So that's why I pick these up when I see them. I love them. I think they're so beautiful. Found another brand new in the package Christmas gift uh, that I can give to someone, uh, you know, next year or whatever. Look at this. Brand new. Two hand towels and a soap pump. Beautiful. Yes, indeed. This I thought was really, really interesting and I had to grab it. Our Century in Pictures, and it is Life Magazine, and it is a book. And it's got all kinds of amazing pictures in here. Um, it was originally $25.95 for this book. <clears throat> and it's I'm just going to quickly kind of thumb through some of the pictures. Hopefully without ripping anything as I do it. But it's got some awesome, awesome pictures in here. There's Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Yeah, so I thought this would be an awesome book. I also got some really cute wallets. I got this little Nine West, uh, kind of like a leathery feel, um, little, just a little wristlet. Got that. I got this real cute Vera Bradley. Another Vera Bradley, this one has the, the zipper pouch, and then it's got a change purse area. Let's open up the zipper pouch. I think this is probably where you would put your, yep, your credit cards. And I love the colors of it, and it's in really good condition. Um, it's not even dirty or anything. Now this one, I'm gonna wash, this one, you could put a cell phone. Oh, sorry, I got a, <laughs> a message from Vintage Vinny. Hip, uh, myself, Vinny, and Tammy from Vintage Uprising, Texas, Texas are going to be guests on Janine's channel tonight just for um, a chat and uh, question asking kind of thing for like an hour. So I hadn't gotten the StreamYard link, so he sent it to me. That's what he was messaging me for. So I got that. I got, uh, green tags were half price, so I got this box of Polydent for uh, uh, $275. No, sorry, $175 um, to use for cleaning out my vases and stuff. I got these two um, beautiful bird figurines. They're both exactly the same. And they're in perfect condition. There's no chips or cracks or anything on either one. They are made in Japan. So I got those. Yeah, I figured I would do this video real quick before I did the stream with, uh, with everyone. I thought it started at 6 o'clock, but it actually starts at 6.30, so that's why I'm trying to do this real quick. I did get this, and this is a Yankee Candle um, wax melter, an electric one. So you put your, your little uh, squares of uh, scented wax in here and melt them, and your whole house will smell wonderful. Uh, yep, Yankee Candle. I just thought it was really cute. So we get, 
we got we g g got that. Oh my gosh, Porky Pig or what? Then I got this. This is awesome. Came right on the base. This is going to be perfect to put out for Halloween. I love it. <laughs> yes. Okay, I can shut that off now. I got this. Now, the funny thing is, I saw this exact same vessel, let's call it, at Salvation Army. And they wanted $7.99 for just the glass vase. No florals in it. Got this one at Goodwill for half that price with flowers. I just thought it was so, so pretty. So. There's that item. Then I got this. This is a nice deal here, guys. I got this beautiful basket. Wrought iron or whatever with all of this beautiful beaded fruit in it. So nice. We have like... Two purple grapes, a pear, actually two pears, we got uh, two oranges, two apples, and, oh, this one is stuck, hold on. We got three pairs, three pairs, three sets of green grapes. And look at how pretty. Now, one of the leaves came off of one of the fruits. So I'm going to, I'm going to hot glue uh, these leaves back on. Um, and But look at how pretty the bottom of the basket is. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. And this is a very uh, sturdy basket. So, yes. Yes, indeed. Let's put our little grapes in here. All right. Uh-oh. Wonder what's going on now. Boy, the, the, the little beads come off of their fruit like so easily. You have to be so careful with it. All right. Um, I just got a couple more things, guys. I got this. This would be a great gift for someone. So we got the little snowman. And then inside, he's got his arms wrapped around, um, they look like washcloths, Christmas washcloths. It doesn't say the, uh, the contents, but they look like little uh, Christmas washcloths. So I thought that was very cute. Now, the only reason I bought this goodie bag was because I wanted these foil uh, things for my gas stove. That's why I bought it. And then it came with, of course, this yarn. Yeah, I wanted these. So I could put them on my stove to keep it cleaner. Uh, what is this? Oh, look at these. These are nail polish strips. Those are pretty. And then, of course, there's a full skein of purple yarn. 
And then we have this, which I'm going to redonate. And then there's a couple spatulas in here, but this one has a crack. But this one seems to be okay. But basically, I only wanted the burner uh, pan things. So, and then I bought another bag because I wanted these Food Network knives that are in here. These are Food Network. Got that one. There's three of them in here. This one. And this one. Uh, I can't tell if this is Food Network or not because they got it all taped up but it is a serrated knife. And then also in here was, I don't know what that is, for spaghetti maybe? I have no idea. I don't know. Redonate. Then there was this in here. New stainless steel cake perfect presentation. I don't know. Does anybody know what this is used for? Because I have no clue. No idea at all what it is. Uh, a box of a hundred straws. Y'all know I love my straws. <laughs> Yes, I do. And then these really nice, these look like stainless steel salt and pepper shakers were in there. So those are pretty nice. So, I mean, I got some good stuff out of this bag, I guess. They never empty their salt and pepper shakers when they donate them. So, um... That is everything, guys. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, so I hope you I hope you liked the haul. If you uh, had a favorite, leave it in the comments for me. Um, if you know what this is, leave that in the comments for me too. And this. I... I don't know if you would put something in here and slice it. Like, I have no idea. But anywho, guys, that is going to do it for this haul video. I have one more video to film, and I probably will do that after the live stream with uh, Vinny and Janides and Tammy. Um, and that one is going to be another Fuller's Flea Market haul. I went back for more. Yes, I did. I couldn't help myself. So, guys, please take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.